flatulent. Paranoid, there you go. That's something uh, Stalin definitely was. Um, Stalin's also a little bit pompous, I guess. Oh, he's short-tempered. There we go. He's paranoid and short-tempered. That sounds exactly like Stalin. There we go. All right. Here's my here's my little El Presidente. He's a Stalin look-alike and act-alike. His name is Stalin. You know, with an exclamation point. His background is from Harvard University. For Canada power through a communist re rebellion. His qualities are he's a hard-working and administrative, and his flaws is paranoid and short-tempered. So there you go. Sounds exactly like Stalin. Good morning. Tropical! Right, so. I am Juanito, and this is Tropical News Today, keeping a finger on the pulse of the nation. Uh, Stay tuned to DNT for the best music and the most optimistic news. You'll get, you'll get used to old Juanito as time goes on. But here, let's get a little bit of lay of the land. I got a fairly um, nice island here. There's plenty of space for me to uh, expand. And you always start off with, generally you don't start off with a garage, but it's nice that I start off with a garage. Uh, construction workers, teamsters, they drive from place, people from place to place, and I got a uh, tenant. Doesn't look like I've got, and then of course there's the dock here. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start off with some, uh, want to get some farming going. I got $15,000 to start off with. So, we're going to want to get our, our, Economy pumping a little bit. We're gonna want to get some food for the people. So let's start off with a, a couple farms. And um, you, so you can see when I click on a farm, uh, the area around it turns to to green. And green areas are good places for me to put on a farm. So I'm gonna put up, put down two farms here, two uh, corn farms because they are not they're not worth because you can see uh, on this corner right here, you can select what kind of crop this farm will grow and uh, I'm going to put down corn because corn is worth next to nothing export wise but it's very good for feeding your people so that's something I like to keep and then uh, let's get basic economy going down with uh, a lumber mill and lumber mills will allow you to um, these guys will cut down any nearby trees and uh, ship them off to the docks where they'll, they'll export Excuse me. These uh, the lumber. I also get some some tenants going down for a little bit of a population build. Maybe a, a restaurant for entertainment. Also, restaurants are fairly good. And um, that's it. That'll be it for now. I got five thousand dollars to spare, so that, that that'll give me a little bit of something to work with. So let's uh, see if we can find uh, old Stalin here. To check up on my people. First thing Stalin asks is if I'm a rebel. <laughs> if you want something done, do it yourself. And uh, also, you can see you can control your little uh, El Presidente at any time here, and you can zoom in right down and see him. And if uh, you have him go stand by any buildings, he has them build faster. So I'm gonna put a high um, priority. You can set the building priority. So I'm gonna put high priority on one farm. And a, uh, Are you a rebel? and a logging camp because I want to get my economy going uh, pretty quickly here because for the first little while without any kind of basic economy I'm going to be uh, relying on foreign aid for the most part and maybe a little bit of, of rent. I want to get rid of the, my tenants as fast as possible though. So uh, I'm speeding up time here. And you can, uh, as time seems, I can see them here. They're building up this logging camp. My, my little construction workers. Where's uh, Stalin Surveys on board? Surveys suggest that the popularity of El Presidente has been dropping since the beginning of his regime. Oh, dude, his he regime has lasted like three months. Come on, Juanito. On give, give, me, give me a little chance here, my friend. I, uh, so anyway, so our first lumber camp is built. And... Lumber camps, they don't require any education for the workers, so any male workers from around the town will uh, jump in and start working at the lumber camp. It'll be the same relative deal with uh, 
most basic buildings. As time goes on, you're going to need to build high schools and colleges and all kinds of uh, crazy stuff. As the more advanced buildings you build, the more uh, people will need to know to be able to work at those jobs. Like uh, any any schmo can work in a farm, but you know if you're going to work in a, a power plant, you probably want someone who's got a who's got a degree behind them. So I'm just going to. Uh, so you can, uh, we're off to a, a good start here, just kind of setting our base down. Uh, oh shit! Let's go over here. The only problem is that the things are a little bit far away from the dock, which is uh, I find a little bit unfortunate. Uh, I'm with no exports. I also think I'm gonna build a. No, nah, I don't want to build a, a fisherman of a, a wharf because until I move my my town kind of down this hill. A little bit. If you think, uh, once I, I get going, the first thing I'm going to do is set up some industry down here, so it's a little bit closer to the dock. Because all your money comes, a lot of your money, your money can come in very dis distinct ways. But the way I like to do it is I like to f do pre predominantly an export economy, where I build goods, and um, every so often a freighter will arrive from another another country and land in the port and then uh, it'll leave with whatever uh, exports I've collected whether it be corn or cigars or uh, lumber or whatever uh, they'll take those away uh, to uh, whatever country they happen to be going to so uh, things are going to be a little bit rough at the beginning but once I get the ball rolling uh, things will be okay because right now my popularity is only at uh, 41%, which is, is not good. And generally speaking, when it falls below 40%, that's when people get a little uh, little miffed and rebels start kind of coming, and uh, it's not such a good situation. Things are, are looking good. We got our, our second tenant up. We got our, our first batch of foreign aid from the USSR. Should probably get a, a church down. I might go into a little bit of debt because churches are, for some reason, unruly expensive. So I'm gonna put down a church. I'm also going to, because uh, a church requires someone with a little bit more education. And unfortunately, at this time, I have there's no one on the school with a high school. Uh, sorry, on the island with a high school education, and I haven't built a high school. So I need to hire someone who's outside the country to work at this church. So I'm gonna have to hire a, uh, a minister and the next um, next freighter that's gonna come around is gonna bring me a minister to help work at the church. And when you work at, and when you have a church, uh, people are generally happier because uh, uh, apparently people in the Caribbean are incredibly religious or, or something and uh, they really want to have churches. You know, I could, personally, I could do without having churches in my country. In fact, uh, the town I live in, Abbotsford, B.C., has the most churches per capita in the world. Or not in the world, in Canada. <laughs> Probably not in the world, but in Canada. And uh, you can't drive for two minutes and in this town without seeing a church. A wild llama has made a successful assassination attempt on El Presidente's favorite hat. The hat is in a very bad condition, with little hope of recovery. The unfortunate llama has been charged with high treason and will have to testify in court for its actions. Animal activists are planning nationwide demonstrations in a desperate attempt to free the furry creature. Oh, Juanito. Well, that llama will get what it's coming to. There we go. Ship is docked. Immigration. And also, we've exported a little bit, about uh, $2,500 worth of goods on, on my freighter which is, is fairly decent, I suppose. Um, let's see if I can get down another lum lumber camp. Let's get one up in here. This is a very good place to put a lumber camp, apparently. But also, uh, I need I need my... Um, where's uh, Stalin, my boy? Where, where is he? Where, where, what the hell is he doing? Never fear! President is here! Oh, here make it so! You, you stand here, Stalin, and, and make sure you encourage these construction workers so. whenever they get over here 
to uh, start building that, even though I already have it at high production. And for some reason, they're, they're building the church, which I, I seriously don't want them to do. So, where is... Okay, the church is underway, kind of. And I, I guess the... Uh, there they go. And they're starting to build up this, uh, this place. There we go. The next farm has gone up. So, that should give me enough food for a while. Uh, well, well, actually, food doesn't start coming in until... Um, it's a whole year. It needs a year of growing cycle before it really starts producing crops. So, I, I kind of got to wait for this a little bit. But, uh, fortunately, my church is up, and my, uh, 